Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are inside of X-Tiles and I am going to show you a little bit more about how this app works and why I think this could be a really big Notion contender in 2024. So X-Tiles is a productivity app I have covered a couple of times on this channel, but I haven't done an in-depth uh, review of it. I have just touched on it a couple of times. I will come back with a full-on tutorial in a couple of weeks. I just need to play around with the app a little bit longer. But let's start by creating ourselves a YouTube test workspace. Uh, so now that I have created my first workspace, I can create a new project. I will start from scratch this time. Uh, to show you a little bit more about how this works. So you can insert tables inside of here, which is a cool feature. You can have notes. You can either do that by pressing here or double pressing and you get a new note. Uh, you can have tasks in here as well and you have a dedicated task view. Uh, and you can have embeds as well. So I could embed a Spotify link or uh, a weather widget if I wanted to. You can also add images and lists. So let's do a checklist. As you can see, it works. And the way this app works is that there are tiles right here uh, and you can uh, create your own notes inside of them. It is just like posting uh, or putting a post-it note on a wall, quite similar to that. Uh, and you can decide how big you want these to be so you can customize everything. They also have an inbox feature, which is a nice addition. You can uh, add your web clips into uh, your inbox. They have a web clipper for uh, Chrome. Uh, so you can add your uh, web things you've clipped from the web right to your inbox and you can organize it later. They have a calendar here with all of your tasks. This seems to work across workspaces. Uh, and in the pro plan or the plus plan is what they call it, they have a Google Calendar um, integration as well, which is something Notion spent a lot of time uh, getting. But that isn't the main reason why this is such a good Notion contender. The main reason is that if I create a new blank uh, page here, let's call this personal social media, uh, I could create this right here. And I could start by adding some of the important things with my personal social media. So that would be color coding or color codes or uh, notes that I want to remember all of the time, I could build myself a personal social media dashboard. But I want my personal social medias to be inside of a, inside of a database. And that is what you can get inside of X-Tiles. They have table view, calendar view, board view, and gallery view. So I could do a blank one right here, or actually I will do a I will do a table view right here and we will call this social media ideas. Still can't spell, but that isn't a problem. We can add different properties to this. There are quite a few to select from. You have number, select, multi-select, date, checkbox, relation. So let's say you wanted to have your resources in a different database, just like I've done here. You could actually add a relation to your other uh, databases and uh, get your notes right here as well. So that is a really cool feature. You have created time and you have URL, which is a new feature they recently added. And this is a basic uh, database, just like you see in things like Notion or any other productivity app that has databases. Uh, and it also has the same relation as most of the other apps have. Uh, they have templates as well, which is really nice. So you could add yourself, uh, you could add templates to your work uh, space. So you can have, you have a bunch to choose from and they actually, uh, I saw on their Twitter that they were looking for designers to help uh, make these templates, which is really cool because then you will know that you will get a, uh, 
beautiful workspaces. I do work with design a lot myself, uh, so this feels really natural to build out a workspace, feels really intuitive to me at least. Uh, but if it doesn't, you could actually just use one of these. So let's try out a weekly planner. This is actually a paid one, so some of them are actually paid. But let's do the yearly one. And here you have a yearly re review and it has a, a template right here. There are a bunch of templates to do try out you can do a yearly planner as well and this has multiple different boards on it uh, and these are quite beautiful to look at and the way these tasks work is that a task from anywhere uh, inside of here will be put on your task lists and you can add due dates to them as well just to show you uh, how that works we can do a backslash and we can do a task and we will call this film video and I will schedule it to next month sometime. Uh, let's do March 13th. Let's jump back into here and you can see that it appears in March 13th or it appears right here in the calendar as well. And I can drag this around to get a new due date which is really really cool. So you could do some sort of calendar blocking or at least place your tasks on different days. I wouldn't call it full on calendar blocking. Let's go on and delete this. Um, and uh, the way this differs from Notion is actually these tiles. Apart from that, it is quite similar. So I like to call this a more visual Notion. Uh, and it really feels like a more visual version of Notion. So if you are a visual person who likes design to and who likes to see everything uh, at once like this, uh, this app might be better for you than something like Notion. But the real reason for why I believe this is a Notion competitor is because of the uh, productivity space right now. There are a lot of quite uh, hard to use or at least uh, most of the newer apps have a learning curve to them and for most productivity nerds like myself that isn't a problem because we're used to all of these different apps and the terminology of backlinking and linking different things together and you can even do links inside of here as well so I could link this let's try one more time uh, you have links here as well, but or they are actually called nested pages. So you can have a nested page uh, inside of here, but the, that is mostly for navigation and not necessarily for linking different things together like you would in many other productivity apps. But this is much easier to learn than some of the other apps out there right now. And that's why I believe that it can become a big Notion contender because it is much more approachable, especially with the beautiful templates they have. You do not have to do too much work yourself and they are also doing great marketing work. They are, it feels like they basically are copying a lot of the things Notion did in the marketing. They are not doing that in the product itself, but in the marketing, uh, they seem to have a proven concept that they are working on. Uh, so this is much more approachable for students, for people who do not have productivity as their hobby. That's why I am a big believer uh, in this. And we also have um, actually have a second brain template, but we will take a look at the pricing because we also have quite a good pricing point for this because you can get really far with the free plan. You get unlimited blocks, pages and projects. Uh, you get three personal workspaces. So as I showed you, I have two workspaces right now. Uh, and inside of those workspaces, you can have unlimited projects. I only use one workspace and one project. Um, and you can invite 10 guests so you can get really far with the free plan and there isn't many caps on the free plan. But if you wanted to have recurring tasks, Google Calendar integration and uh, 
unlimited storage and not have the five megabyte file upload limit you could go for the plus and this will have private uh, pages and uh, a 30 day uh, page history and uh, another view here as well uh, so this is probably better for teams especially because of this view right here but it is also great if you want reoccurring tasks and you want a google calendar integration or you have to invite a lot of guests or you just want to have all of your files inside of here and for right now it is on sale so it is uh, four dollars each month if billed uh, annually the monthly plan is ten dollars which is a little bit more regularly it is eight dollars each month which isn't too bad compared to the rest of the productivity space uh, and this business plan is for bigger companies uh, and it is coming soon so you can get really far with the free plan as well so i would recommend trying out the free plan seeing whether or not you actually like it and if you do i would recommend just uh staying with it for a while and uh, if you ever need to you can upgrade this as well i'm just going to show you my dashboard i have a weather widget right here where you can see the weather where i live and i also do have a spotify and that not that i'm using any of them i just put them there because they are uh, they look beautiful and so in general, I think this is a really cool and approachable app uh, that a lot of people should try out because it is really easy to learn. And I will leave an affiliate link down below. Uh, just go through there. Uh, that way you can support the channel as well. Even if you don't uh, end up buying the pro plan, I would love it if you used the link. Uh, if not, you can just search for X styles uh, on Google and it will pop up. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. And hopefully I will see you again tomorrow for another YouTube video or in a couple of weeks for the full on um, X styles tutorial. Thank you so, so much for watching.